Okay, I want to dem demonstrate the trigger for you on this ventilator screen. Again, ventilators can have different screens, but at the end they have the same information. So you can see here AC. The AC here means there is assist and control breath. So there is patient and ventilator triggers. We said that the ventilator ventilator trigger is always time and here simply you see the 12 here 12 per minute so simply every 60 divided by 12 which means every five seconds the ventilator will deliver a breath if there is none initiated by the patient but if you look here you change the color a bit if you look here, this here, uh, right here, the three liter per minute, this is a flow trigger. And basically here we're telling the ventilator, remember the, the, the inspiratory and expiratory limb, if there is a difference, if the expiratory flow is less, by three liters or more compared to inspiratory limb go and deliver a breath so the trigger here is a flow so it's a hybrid of assist and control breath a hybrid of patient and ventilator triggers and the assist breath the patient triggered breath is flow triggered based on this ventilator of course you can just simply by a little um, just pressing the button you can change this to pressure trigger the last things I want to demonstrate here is you see the respiratory here is 12 per minute but this is the actual respiratory this is where the patient is breathing right now see so already breathing 14 which is bigger than this so this is all you can guess all assist breath all patient triggered no control breath why because simply 60 divided by 14 this is definitely less than five seconds so there is no need there is every time the ventilator trying to reach the five second the patient will trigger before the five seconds so all these are assist breath so if you want to make changes here it will only works if you increase it more than the actual respiratory rate, so more than 14 that means decreasing making 60 divided by the respiratory rate that set here make it less than 60 divided by the actual respiratory rate so if you need to change make the patient let's say wash more out co2 you have to pay attention to this quite often i see a patient already breathing at 20 and you have a respiratory rate at 12 and you go increase the ventilator rate here to 14. it's not going to work all right so that's the how you tell the trigger this is a flow trigger and based on what you said this all assists breaths